In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build and launch your first application using AI, no programming experience necessary. It doesn't matter if you've never written a line of code in your life. By the end of this video, if you stick with me all the way through, you'll have your first application live on the internet for anyone to use. Let's get into it. What I'm gonna show you how to do today is build an entire AI fitness tracking app with Cursor, like you see here, using their AI agent to build out the entire application. We're not gonna write any lines of code at all. This is completely beginner friendly. Again, no experience required, and you'll be set up to build whatever apps you want after this. If you wanna go and take the app we build in this video and start selling it, you can start making money right away. So let's, so let's go, this is Cursor. This is by far the most powerful AI coding tool out there. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and download this now. It's completely free. There's a free tier so you can get started just for this video. Go to cursor.com, hit download now. Really simple install. Pause the video right now, go and do that so you can build this along with me, and then come back to the video real quick. Okay, welcome back. Let's get this started. Let's go back into Cursor here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a new project. This is where we're gonna start building our AI fitness tracking app. So just hit open project and then create a new folder we're gonna start building inside of. So I created a new fitness tracker folder. This is where we're gonna build out of. Just as a quick introduction to Cursor, what you see here on the left is where all your coding files are gonna be built out, where they'll live, and over to the right is your AI agent. This is the mind-blowing technology that is going to build out your application without writing any lines of code. So we're gonna start building this out, and then I'm gonna show you how to actually take this code and put it live on the internet, so you can start having other people use your app and even charge them if you want. So let's start building out the application. I'm gonna give you the initial prompt, and then I'm gonna start giving you cool tips and tricks on getting the most out of Cursor. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put this down below, so feel free to pause right now and copy the prompt from down below and put it into Cursor for yourself. I wanna build a fitness tracking app built on Next.js. I should be able to tell you what workout I did and for how long, then an AI, OpenAI API, tells me how many calories I burnt. Let's build this out step by step, one step at a time, please. Explain everything you do as you go along. So there's a few really important things here. First of all, we're building this on Next.js. This is the technology powering your application. This is a standard web technology most web apps are built on, so you wanna make sure you say that. We also mentioned AI, so the OpenAI API, this is the AI technology that's gonna power our app and be able to do really cool things with the fitness tracker. Like these are the apps that are selling big time now, so it's cool to import AI into your app. And I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So again, completely beginner friendly. I also say let's do this step by step, one step at a time, please. And this is so that you can learn as you go. So the AI explains what it's doing as you go. So make sure to copy that, put that into Cursor. I'm using Claude 4 Sonnet. If you're on the free version, just use Claude 3.5 or Claude 3.7, whatever, whatever the latest Claude is. Claude's the best coding model out there. So just choose that and you're good to go. And then we're gonna hit enter on this and our AI agent's gonna go ahead and start building the application for us. So hit enter. Okay, I'll help you start building a fitness tracking app with Next.js. Step one, let's set up the workspace. So it's gonna start installing all the technology for us. Uh, what you see here is a terminal command. You can just hit run on that, and it's gonna install and set up the application for us, which is really awesome. So it's installing all the dependencies, installing all the tech, so TypeScript, Next.js. Again, you don't need to know what all that is. Just know it's the tech powering our application. And you can see over on the left, all the code files it's building out for us, which is really, really sick. This AI agent just pumping out code. Excellent, I've successfully set up your fitness tracking app. Let me show you what was generated. So now it's gonna show us all the code it wrote. It set up the next app, it set up TypeScript, which is all the styling, it set up the router, and now we can run this and see the application. So I'm gonna hit open terminal and run command. It's gonna run that. You can see what server it's running on here. If you're on Mac, you just hold command and then click there, and then let's see what we got here. I pull this open, boom a running web app. So it's our boilerplate code, right? All it says is Next.js, but now we're gonna start building out the, the actual fitness tracking application. Okay, so now it's going in and it's actually customizing the app for the fitness tracker. So it's going in and actually building out the core functionality. And if you watch the site live, you keep it over to the side, you can see it build out as we go. So we're like literally a minute in here. We now have a fit tracker AI powered calorie burn calculator. What workout did you do? How long did you do it? And we can start calculating the calories burned. And this is literally like a minute of work and we already have the application. What's mind blowing about this as the AI keeps working here is we just went from idea to application in like under 60 seconds. 
And so you need to train your mind as this AI works here, that when ideas come to you, you just go to your computer and you start building, you just start creating. You go to your AI agent and say, hey, hey, I have an idea, please build this out for me. That's the way you gotta work now. Okay, so the AI agent went in, what I built for you, a beautiful modern fitness tracking interface with clean gradient background, okay, interactive features and the current functionality. So it looks like the AI functionality isn't in it yet, as in when I put in my exercise and AI is not gonna calculate the calories for us yet, but we'll implement that in a second. I'll show you how to do it. If you stick with me here, as I show you how to put the AI functionality in, like you'll be far ahead of like 99% of people. So let's just test this out. Um, so I just went for a run for 60 minutes. Let's see, calculate calories, calories burned. Great workout, 131 calories. So what you'll see here when we implement the AI functionality is an AI will actually take your workout, take how long you did it and give you an actual estimate for how many calories you burned. So there's gonna be some cool functionality in here. So this goes on, I'm not gonna do this here, but as you do this on your side, feel free to pause right here and just read everything it does, right? Read all the code it changed, how it works. And I'm not expecting you to understand how the code works, but as you do this and the more you do it, you'll learn more and more how the tech behind this works, which is gonna be really good for you. So you can work even faster in the future. So current status, the app is working with placeholder data. Would you like me to proceed with step four, integrating the OpenAI API? Yes, let's do that. So yes, please proceed. And the key here is we're just talking to the AI agent like it's a human being. Yes, do this. And it goes and it works for us, just like it's our own employee, which is really, really cool. All right, let's proceed with step four, integrating the OpenAI API. All right, so we're going to click run on this and it's going to install OpenAI for us. I like using the OpenAI API. There's a bunch of different APIs out there, Claude and Google and all that. I just think the OpenAI API is the easiest to use. So it's going to install that for us. And for those who don't know, all an API is, is a way for two pieces of software to communicate, right? So like our app, this piece of software is gonna communicate with OpenAI, which is gonna do the calculations for us. So that's all the API is, is just ways for software to communicate with each other. Okay, so now it's gonna create an environment file where we can store our API key. We hit run on that. As you can see, it just created a .env.local file where we're gonna put our API key, and I'll explain all that in a second as well. Now let's create the route. So this is where the code's gonna go. That's gonna communicate with OpenAI. I'm gonna click run on that. Now it's writing all the code that's gonna communicate with OpenAI. As you see, it's just done in a split second. Boom, all the communication's done with OpenAI. Really sick. It's just amazing the power of what's available to anyone now. Anyone can just build these applications by themselves. It's, it really is mind blowing to think about. All right, quickly seeing what it built out. The OpenAI API integration's complete. All we're gonna to need to do is put our OpenAI API key here, which is gonna be really simple. Follow along with me here, let's do this. So we're gonna come back into our browser and we're gonna to go to openai.com slash API. So this is where you're gonna be able to get your API key. You're gonna to wanna to log in here with your OpenAI account. Once you're logged in, you'll see this screen here and all we're gonna do is get our API key. So if you click settings in the top right, then click API keys, you'll, you'll be at your API key screen and then you just click create new secret key. I'm gonna call this one fitness. You can choose a project, I just choose my default project and we'll create the secret key and this will show you your API key. Once you do that, just click copy on that and paste it right here. So where it says OpenAI API key equals this, you just paste it right in. And if you're not seeing this and the AI didn't make this file for you, just right click and do a new file that's called .env.local and that'll create the file for you. And then just put this in here and paste in your API. All right, once you paste that in, just hit save and you should be good to go. So I reset the server, I'm coming back here. We're gonna say swimming. We're gonna say we did that for 30 minutes. Let's calculate it. This should be sending it to the AI, boom, 300 calories. So it's not the placeholder anymore. Burn during your swimming session. That's amazing. So now we can put it in here. It tells us how many calories we burned with our workout. That's amazing. I'm gonna add one more feature. So I'm gonna show you how you can add features through this. And then I'm gonna show you right after that how to put this code live on the internet. So you can then send this out to anyone you want, have them use it, impress your friends, impress your family, and then even start making money if you want. All right, let's add one more feature in here in Curse. And the reason why I'm doing this is I can show you how to go kind of back and forth with your agent to 
make new features, make your app better. We're going to add the ability to add a date and time to your workout and then have it so it saves all your workouts so you can see how many calories you've burned. We're going to add that real quick. Then I'm going to show you how to deploy this on the internet so you can start having your friends use it. All right, so I'm going to say this again. I'm just talking to AI like it's an employee. Let's add one more feature. Let's make it so you can enter in a date for the workout. Then when you run the analysis, it saves the workout locally and you can see your past workouts. Hit enter. The AI agent gets to work. They're going to add this functionality in. And in a second, we're going to have this live on the internet. Live. So it's building out all the code for us. Again, I'd highly recommend going through as it goes and just reading it all through just to see how it's working so you can learn how the app works. All right, looks like it's all built out. Let's pull this over here and let's refresh this. Okay, so now we have the new workout date field here. All right, so let's say lifting leg day. I just had a leg day right before this, so let's see how this goes. I went for 60 minutes. It's today, let's calculate it. 400 calories, okay. That's actually pretty accurate. I had it on my Apple Watch. It did say 400 calories. Let's see, show workout history. And you can see the workout history here. So you can see uh, the total calories and the workouts log. So it's saving all our workouts here. So let's do another one. Let's see if this works. Swimming for 45 minutes on today. Calculate that. Boom, and then it's added to our history. So two workouts logged, 800 total calories, and you can see it all here. That's really sick. That's a sweet app. Imagine you use this for your personal self. You track all your workouts and you can see all your calories. I mean, like, yeah, Apple Health does this, but at the same time, when you start building apps for yourself and you start building apps for your day-to-day -day life and day-to-day -day, day -day things you do, it's so much more satisfying to use when it's built by yourself rather than someone else. I really recommend this. If you're ever using apps day to day, like just go to AI, like I just showed you here, go in a cursor and just build your own version of it in a couple of minutes. You'll be so much more satisfied with everything you use during your day. So let's do this. We got the app built out. Let's get this live on the internet so other people can start using it. So you're going to want to come to github.com. For those who don't know, GitHub is where all your code is going to be stored. It's the biggest online repository of code in the world. It's the standard place to store your code when you're building applications. And it connects with basically every technology on the planet. So when I show you how to host this through Vercel in a second, it's going to connect to your GitHub so you can put this live. So we're going to come in GitHub, sign up if you haven't, click new repository. I'm going to call this fitness tracker. We're going to make this private. And I'm going to click create. And just like that, we will have our own repository here. Boom. Once you do that, you're going to get a URL right here. We're going to copy that URL. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to say, let's ship this code to GitHub. Here is the repository. Boom. Feel free to pause this. Take this right now and put this into your own cursor putting in your link right there, and then you can hit enter, and it's gonna walk us through putting this code online in GitHub, and I'm gonna show you how you can get this live in a second. So it's gonna start running some Git commands. You can just run, you can click run right there. We're gonna run that, and it's gonna start connecting to the GitHub repository we just created. So it's gonna add it to, you can see there is the URL we created, hit run, and it's gonna start adding all the files. So git add period adds all the files from our code base. Then it's going to start committing it. So committing it gets it ready to push into our repository. So we hit run on that. And again, I'm not typing or doing anything here. The AI is doing everything for us, which is amazing. And then it pushes it to the origin main. So push is actually taking the code and putting it into our repository. So I hit run on that. We're going to hit allow right here. And then it's going to walk you through connecting to your GitHub. If you have any challenge with this, just pause here. Take this. Put it into GitHub. If you're not sure what to do at this point, just go back into the AI and say, hey, I'm kind of confused. What do I do here? And it'll walk you through step by step how to do it. I'm going to copy and continue to GitHub. It opens up the site here. We click continue and I paste in that code it just gave me. And I'm going to authorize that I'm just going to authorize and we are good to go. Okay, perfect. Now let me commit and push this beautiful documentation. Kind of sounds like Trump there, but that's totally fine. Whatever. Big, beautiful documentation. Get that committed. And that gets committed as well and sent to our GitHub. Boom. So if you come back to GitHub and you go to your repo, you'll see all the code there. Boom. All the code's there. The commit messages there that the AI wrote. Everything's good to go, which is pretty amazing. The AI did all this. Look, you can even see the readme. This is a pretty cool readme. Look at that. That's cool. It has all the instructions on how to use it. It looks nice with all the, the emojis. I love that. The, the AI agent wrote this entire readme on how to use the app. That's pretty amazing. Now let's put this live on the internet. It's time. Let's put this live online so people can start using it. 
Go to Vercel.com. So Vercel is one of the easiest ways to host websites on the internet. It connects with your GitHub, takes your code, puts it live on the internet. Go to Vercel. Pause here. Go to Vercel.com. Sign up. Come back. Welcome back. All right, let's create a new project here. We're going to create a new project. We go in, we choose our repository, which will do fitness tracker. You might need to log in to get here to get this to work. So log in to get through here, accept, approve all the connections and everything, and then choose your repo that you created. Once you're here, you're going to see your project you just created. Next.js, detected Next.js. One important thing you need to make sure you do before we deploy here is we want to add the environment variable for OpenAI. So click environment variables, put an open AI API key, just like it's in your project and then paste in the actual API key here. Once you paste it in, just hit deploy and it's going to start deploying your code to the internet, which is really cool. Congratulations. You just deployed a new project, the FinAce project. Let's go. Let's continue the dashboard and see how this looks. All right. So deployments on this website, you can see the website right here. We click it. The domains right there. We click that and boom, live on the web. There it is. Our entire application is online. If I wanted to now take this domain, send it to whoever I want, I could do it. I could do that. That's amazing. I know obviously this is not a regular looking domain, but if you go now, buy a domain, whether it's on GoDaddy or whatever, maybe buy fitnesstracker.ai, you can go back into Vercel and set that domain up through here so that it points through that domain and you can now send that domain out. But for now, you have a live app on the internet. You can start giving to people, giving to your friends, giving to your family, impressing them, selling it, whatever you want to do. If you wanted to gate your apps that you charge for people to use it, you can do that too. You just want to integrate Stripe. Go back to your AI agent, say, hey, I want to charge to use this application. I want to use Stripe. Walk me through how to do it. The AI agent will walk you through how to do it and you'll be good to go. You now in the course of what, 10, 15 minutes, set up it built your own application, launched it online, and now anyone can use it. You went from idea to live just like that. This is the mindset you need. You come up with ideas, you go to your AI agent, you build it out, you launch it. Ship, ship, ship. The more you ship, the closer you'll get to that winning idea. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to hit subscribe down below if you learned anything at all. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. All I do is make incredible videos about building with AI. I'll see you in the next video. As this is building, if you learned anything at all so far, make sure to hit subscribe down below and leave a like. All I do is make incredible videos about building with AI.